So for me, the one of the most frustrating aspects of last night's episode was for some reason it was omitted from the dragging and exposing on of Gary that this man was married for years to Jasmine Borders. They had children together. Well, in season one, it was children, but then it was retconned to only be a son with special needs. However, when it came to Jordan, it was uh, Jordan's sister's uh, Jordan's sister, Penelope. The only thing that was mentioned was that, well, you and Gary have been together for three years. So that actually overlaps when Gary was actually seeing me and Danny saying that they for years have been seeing each other. I've already ranted about that and I'm not going to do it again. So the conversation went from, yeah, me and Gary were together and I didn't know about you, Penelope. And also he said he wanted to marry me and you know, Oh wait, is that the same ring he proposed to me with? And then, you know, it goes from there. Also, I got to laugh at the fact that the first thing Andy told Penelope was, we're in love. But then later on, she means nothing to me. She ain't nothing but a side chick. She's not marriage material. Dang, Andy. All right. But in any case, why in the world did they not bring up Jasmine? Nor did they bring up the fact that there were other women aside from Andy and Jasmine. It just felt like the writing was completely off. Now, my only headcanon justification of this, apparently Tyler did not forget about Jasmine because strangely enough, later on in the episode when the girls are over at Karen's, Andy's reflecting on the karma of all this, he was married when we first started seeing each other and this is my karma because he was messing with me behind his wife's back and now he was messing with Penelope behind my back. Technically, if we're going based off of the continuity that's, I guess, being written now, Andy, you're the one who isn't the victim here. I mean, I said this already, but she he was with Penelope. The only difference is, I don't, I mean, she doesn't look good in either scenario. I mean... She knew about Jasmine, but still chose to mess around with Gary. She didn't know about Penelope and was being screwed over by Gary, like how Jasmine got screwed over. Yes, I know Jasmine was having an affair with Morris and they were conspiring to railroad Gary, yada, yada, yada. But at the same time, the Penelope stuff just throws everything out of whack. But in any case, um, the only reason I can think of why Jasmine was not brought up at the beginning of the episode, because if you go back and rewatch the scene, the acting was kind of clunky on Andy, by the way. Um, if you look at that scene, it just felt like there were, just like with Karen, a lot of half-truths were spoken. Like, Andy was glossing over details. Well, we were in love. Well, we are in love, and I tried to make it work with Gary, and I mean, to see what you have with him and all, that's what I thought would happen with me. And it didn't. So I ended it. I mean, that's not completely true. Even if you don't factor in the Jasmine stuff, I feel like there's way more detail to go into. But here's why I think Andy omitted the Jasmine stuff, which again, I have no idea why Danny didn't say anything because Danny was all for exposing Gary's ass. So why wouldn't you bring up the fact that he had a wife? Again, you you clearly wanted this dude to get roasted so bad. Yet you didn't omit the, the bombshell that completely would have taken the house down. Tyler made some weird writing choices with this. So here's the thing, though. The reason I think Andy did not mention Jasmine was because if she did, she would have looked like a whore. By omitting Jasmine and only focusing on Penelope, Andy has the, I guess you could say, the free accountability card. Yeah, Penelope, I'm sorry. Me and Gary were together while you were together, but I had no idea that you were a part of his life. I thought I was the only one. She gets off scot-free. Of course, Penelope doesn't want to have anything to do with her in the moment, but... 
Andy was betrayed. So from Jordan's perspective, from Penelope's perspective, Andy did nothing wrong. It was Gary. Now, let's add Jasmine into the mix. You know what, Penelope? Gary had a whole wife. What? Yes. How did you know? Well, I'm a divorce attorney and Jasmine Borders came to my office talking about how she wanted a divorce from her husband who she thought was cheating. Wait, thought was cheating? I never heard of him having a wife before. Did she know about me? No, no. Then why would she think he was cheating? Because it was me. Gary and I had an affair for six months and then she found out about it and, you know, that led to a whole bunch of things with my career being on the line and, you know, then Gary getting arrested because it turned out it was all a setup and this, that, and the third. And it's like, wait, Jordan could have been like, wait, you messed around with Gary while knowing he had a wife? Well, he said he was going to leave her. How long was the affair again? Six months? Well, technically longer than six months, but... And he never left his wife in that time. No. And you still decided to stay with him. Yes. Yeah, Andy, I'm going to need you to get about my house. And I don't want to see you anymore. Yeah, that's why I think Jasmine was not brought up. Because if she was, Andy would have looked exactly for, you know, how she is. For what she is, even though she never wants to accept it. She a hoe. <laughs> like, probably, it's like... <laughs> nah, she a hoe. Riley, stop saying that. What? I just feel like it, it, it was just a shame because until she was mentioned at the end of the episode, I was just literally like, I know good and hell well Tyler did not just write this woman out of continuity. Oh, she was in two full seasons and in the opening scene of season three. And you're just going to act like Jasmine never existed. I mean, and this is me not even letting my own personal bias come in because you all know how I love me some Jasmine. But folks, this is just a shame and a pity to just not mention Gary's whole ex-wife. Some people even speculate they probably didn't even get a divorce, but they did. So, yeah, what do you think? Do you think um, Jasmine should have been brought up? I mean, look, everybody's cheering on Danny, yet it's like, no, if you're going to tell it, then tell it all then. Talk about Jasmine. Talk about the other women Gary's been with. And if you don't know which women I'm talking about, I've done plenty of video. I, I even did a video about how many women has uh, Gary cheated on. So go check out that list. There's a, you know, everybody in there that I can think of. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video.